Yes, we came like three today. I'm gonna do the game review for Yakuza One. This game is good, good game. It's great. I I just beat Yakuza Three and I enjoyed it. I have not played Yakuza Two because it's really expensive to get. It's probably like 55 bucks I found on eBay with the keys and manual and stuff. But I'm not paying that much price for it. When I have the money, I'll get it. But so this game, first off, the gameplay. I'll have to get on the story. The gameplay in this game, you you basically it's like a beat 'em up plus RPG plus open road like free roam. So it's a beat 'em up because you could like you fight people, different people. You can use different weapons like Dead Rising. And yeah, there is different shops you can go to like in like in River City Ramson. You could go into like different buildings and stuff. So yeah, it's basically like that. It's open world, different story stuff you could there's a lot you can do in it you could go to batting cages you could go to you go to hostess clubs bars which i believe they took out of the west they took out in yakuza 3 the western version yeah they took it out which sucks but whatever you could go play slot machines with the Aus with the Austro took out in yakuza 3 the western version i think they took it out in japanese version 2 but i'm not sure it may be just be the western version like for the hostess, it's just a western version. But yeah. Also, you could, uh... There's many different shops you use. There's a pawn shop you can sell items, buy items. And... This, what else? Oh yeah, there's like gambling then. There's like a coliseum where you can fight different matches and stuff, fight people. It's just overall a great game. And in the second one, I heard there's that... There's bowling in it, there's golf, like driving rages was like basic golf, which they like, have in part three. Yeah. Just, the gameplay is really fun, just like a beat em up, like I said. You fight different people, you get different skills and stuff, you upgrade them. And you just open world, you could just walk around and stuff. It has a good story, which I'll get into the story soon. And there's also taxi stands to get to the to get around the map faster. So yeah, there's a lot of different, there's different areas too, like an underground like area and stuff. So, the gameplay is really, it's a really good game. I get the gameplay maybe 9 out of 10 because it does not have that much stuff to do like in Yakuza 2. Because in Yakuza 2, well I never played Yakuza 2, but in Yakuza 2, you could actually, they have all these features plus driving ranges like golf, they have golf and bowling in it, including bowling. Oh yeah, I forgot there's UFO catcher in this game. Yep. And then also there's like a this new video mini game in part two in the arc Sega arcade. It's called a uh, versus, I think, versus. It's like a you fight like in the I don't know, in the machine or something. I saw I saw this playable guy play it, it looks pretty cool. So that's game so I give it a nine out of ten. Or eight out of ten. Cause if they had or I'll just give it a nine out of ten. It did just need more stuff to do, but it's still a good game. Like, this is the first game in the series, so yeah, that's why. Okay, next up, the sound. The music. Or, it yeah, just called the music. Or the sound, yeah, the sound. The sound in this game is good. It has really good music. It does kind of, the music is kind of the same, so it kind of gets boring. But overall, the people, they, they kind of make the same sound in the city. But yeah, so the sound, I'll probably give it. An eight. It's decent sound. It's pretty good. The, the music is kind of like, well, I don't know, repetitive or something. It just plays the same music all the time, so it gets boring. Also, let's get onto the story. The story is you play as Kazuma Kuru, which, yeah, his, his parents died. His parents died. And so right now, he's like in, he's like in the clan, like a Tojo clan, I think. Yeah, I think he was in the Tojo clan. Yeah, he is. And he's like basically. His friend, his like, uh, his friend Nishiki, like betrayed him. That's a spoiler. So he has to like fight all some enemies, to, and then in the end he kills him, which is a spoiler. Sorry about that. He he dies in the end. So yeah, and you, yeah. So that's a story. You just face Kazuma, and they also have Nishiki. Like he. The other characters who help him is Shinji. It's like cool. He's not. He's not as real as that. I forgot his name, but yeah, and much more. It's just a great story. 
It's a story I'll give 10 out of 10, which is a good story. The graphics, this is, this is decent graphics. It's still a PS2 game, so it's not the best graphics. But uh, for the time, it's pretty good. I think this game is pushing the PS2 to the limits, or part 2 is, but it's just, part 2 has way better graphics. I mean, uh, yeah, part 2 has the way better graphics, so kind of. But the graphics, I give it an 8. Yeah, an 8. It's a PS2 game, so whatever. So that's my review for Yakuza. Yaku or Yakuza or Yaku Yakuza 1. This game's a great game. I highly suggest you pick it up. So it's, it's up. I'll show you the inside. I can't do gameplay because I don't have a tripod. So yeah. Well, my brother has a camera with a tripod, but I just can't. I don't feel like using it right now. I'll probably do. In future reviews, I'll show you gameplay. So, take this out. When I get part two, I'll do review of that. But that's going to be for a while. It's not going to be for a long time. And then once I get part two, I'm going to review part two and then review part three. And then if I get part four, I'll do review of that. And I'll also do review of Yakuza Dead Souls. Or Yakuza Dead Souls. So, yeah. And uh, please remember to sign the the, the petition. Like I put, I'll put in the description. Like I said, in my Yakuza 3 unboxing, to sign a petition so Yakuza 5 can come on the West. Because right now, my uh, petition got five signatures, and Sega hasn't really answer, answered me yet. So, yeah. And this other guy, I, I don't remember what his name is, but I have his six, I signed his signature, and he got 100. And he needs, I think he needs 100 more, or 101 more. To get to 200, so I mean, he think I should make an update soon because both of us has been well, he got more signatures than me, of course, but yeah. So it's a manual, it's a pretty good game, it's black and white, obviously. It's not, it's kind of thicker than the first third game, game's manual, but yeah. And there's an ad for Fantasy Star Universe. It's, I, I heard of this game, I never got it yet, I'll probably get it in the future. It's also made by Sega. For the Sega. It's like RPG game, that's what I heard. Here's a manual. Oh yeah, I forgot I like, eat food and stuff to regen. And there's like a lot of side missions and stuff. There's convenience stores and stuff. It's like also like yeah. And there's a pawn shop, like I said, and there's other places, like the slaughter thing. And you could find, like, there's locker keys and you get stuff inside it. There's food stores and stuff. Anyways, here's the disc. It's pretty bland disc. But yeah. Alright, that's it. This is my review for Yakuza 1. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. See you guys later and have a good day. Bye. So, oh yeah, I also forgot. I'll probably get skin. Uh,. 8 out of 10. It's a good game, but yeah, it's a good game. It's the first Jackal's Us game in the whole series, so this one is kind of a masterpiece. But yeah, that's pretty much it. See you guys later. Have a good day. Bye. And I'll be doing more game reviews, like Battle I'll be doing Battle Back 2 game review later, and more the future Jackal's games. And I'll probably do review with the Samurai 1 and 2 if I get them. And 4, because I have a PS3. Like you saw my like, Yakuza 3 unboxing and I didn't make a video for it. But that's pretty much it. Because we didn't have a good day. Bye.